The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. I got uh, Michael Volan. He just uh, uh, he just uh, joined me, and, and I'm going to tell everybody, for those of you that don't know, uh, he's the founder of Where's Obama's BirthCertificate.com. Uh, that website was created back in 2008 um, to raise awareness about the question surrounding Obama's credentials. And thanks to thousands of supporters, the site has become one of the premier websites presenting hardcore, undeniable, indisputable proof that Obama is a fake, a fraud, and a lie. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I want you to hear it right here, if you don't believe me, okay? The birth certificate released by Mr. Obama and the White House is a fake, a fraud, and a lie. That's Sheriff Mack. Everyone knows that Obama's birth certificate is a fake, a fraud, and a lie. But, ladies and gentlemen, he continues to just operate lawlessly, recklessly, without, I mean, the guy should be in handcuffs. Uh, Michael Volan's going to come on right now. I know you're a busy guy. You got some things going on there, Mike. But I want you to give us an update uh, as to where we are. Have you heard anything about the, the uh, Sheriff Arpaio investigation? Are we going to be able to shut this guy down and, and effect an arrest? What's going on, Michael Volan? Hi, Pete. I want to say thank you and thank your audience. Pete, I only have 15 minutes today. I'm broke down on the side of the road, believe it or not. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, I only need five. How about that? I'll give you whatever I could spare. Uh, there's no doubt about it that it's a fraud. I have not heard any recent information come from Sheriff Joe uh, or Mike Zullo. I am in contact with Mike Zullo. With okay. that said, I know that the information will be coming out when they're absolutely ready. They want to do it right. They want to put the information out there. You were referring to my website earlier. <clears throat> On the website is everything that the sheriff has released to the public to show how Obama is a fraud and a liar. There's nothing that says he is qualified to be president as far as his documents, his selective service registration form. That birth certificate simply exists only in cyberspace. That's right. And, and that's forensically proven, correct? Absolutely. I mean, anybody can go to the White House website, whitehouse.gov, take that birth certificate apart in Adobe Illustrator, it's got nine different layers. You can move the uh, register stamp around 90 degrees. You can see how it was placed. Right. It's not the exact uh, uh, copy. It's not the exact uh, size of the paper either. There's other discrepancies in it. And there's a big one. When that thing was first released, I looked at it, and the first thing I saw was the race of his father, and it said African. You didn't use African in 1968. It was colored or Negro. And we have many copies from 1961 birth certificates, and guess what? They had the race of the father as black, colored, or Negro. It, it was, African is only a term used over the last 15 years, and that's to be politically correct. Yeah, they hijacked those words like, uh, by the way, you just said Negro. You sound like a racist. You know, they hijacked those words. Like everyone that said Negro, all of a sudden you're declared to be a racist, although the, an, an entire population of people referred to them as black or Negroes, right? Um that's, that's, that's how we spoke, and and they had to tuck in African. You could tell it was a politically correct person that modified that birth certificate, weren't they? Absolutely, they yeah. they just put African in there because they no, you know, think about it, Pete. Person that's twenty two, twenty five, maybe even thirty years old would never use the word Negro. They probably heard it once or twice in their lifetime. They probably thought it was something bad. But that was the standard back there. It was Negro. That was before civil rights movement or anything like that. And you use the word Negro. I'm not offending anybody. I hope I'm not. I'm, I'm just being correct here. Uh, I'm not a racist. By far, I'm not a racist. Of course not. Right. Of course not. Now, sir, um, on your website, where's Obama's birth certificate dot com? Every single one of our listeners. OK, you need to educate yourself. This isn't just like uh, uh, some political campaign that's being launched by Michael Volan or Pete Santelli. This is literally downloading forensic evidence. OK, it's indisputable proof that that birth certificate is a fraud. And you as the listener need to educate yourself and not listen to guys like us. All the information is right there for you. Right, Mike? Absolutely. Let me rattle on for two minutes. If you go to the website, you can download the information. There's two ways to download it. It's in the Dropbox. You can download it a file at a time, or there's an ISO folder, which will have an auto start menu. The only difference in the kit that you can download, or the one that I could mail to you, 
is that um, is the uh, label that I got permission from the sheriff's department to put on it. It says sheriff's office uh, investigation into Barack Obama's identity fraud. And I also mail out a pamphlet. I don't have the pamphlet available for download as of yet. We have new pamphlets made up. I mail them out every day. You call me, I call you back. You email me, I get back to every single person that emails me. You could also look at all the videos that are contained in the, in the kit right there on the website. As soon as you go to the website, they're right there on the top. You can watch the press conference where Sheriff Joe steps up and says the birth certificate's a forgery. You can watch how it's taken apart in Adobe Illustrator. You can watch the selective service forgery, uh, how that's done with the stamp where it's missing the 19 and other ev- uh, pieces of evidence. Okay, I'm going to g- really get into it quick. 1980s when he allegedly uh, registered for selective service, only because Patriots put in a freedom of information request to see that registration form, wanting to see if he actually registered. They got panicky. They said, "Uh oh, you didn't register. That's going to be a problem. So they couldn't get a 1980 date stamp. What they did is took a 2008, cut it with an X-Acto knife, flipped it around. So now it looks like an 80, except the fat part of the eighth on the top, the small parts on the bottom, and it's offset. It's closer to the inside circle if you watch the video. The other thing is the universe shattering video, which I produced, in anticipation of the new news conference, you can hear stuff like Chris Matthews saying he was born in Indonesia until, you know, Hillary Clinton lost the nomination and then Barack Obama got the nomination. And then all of a sudden, Chris Matthews is on the other hey, side of the fence. Hey, we can see all Mike, of that evidence. Mike, we ran into the break. Can you stay with me over the break, please? Yes, I can. Yes, I have yes. it. Okay. Now, that's important information. You need to download it at where's Obama's birth certificate.com. We're not selling anything but uh, forensic evidence that proves that Barack Obama, the guy that's, uh, you know, amnesty is going against Congress, is doing all these terrible things, a whole list of things he's been doing. He can be stopped if the law is just simply enforced. We'll be back with Michael Volan right after this. And we got some callers. RadiationDefender.com. After a nuclear disaster like Fukushima, you need to eliminate cesium 137 from your body. When cesium 137 travels through the air, it contaminates the water. Soil will be contaminated for the next two to 300 years. And if you take potassium iodide, after you've ingested this cancer-causing radioactive isotope, it's already too late. It's impossible to remove cesium from your body with potassium iodide, and you should return it for a full refund to the vendor who sold it to you. RadiationDefender.com Developed by food science researcher Mike Adams, this patent-pending proprietary formula of zeolites and other ingredients called Cesium Eliminator helps support your body's natural elimination of lethal cesium isotopes. RadiationDefender.com Get rid of your potassium iodide and replace it with the only product on the market which can stop irradiating your body from the inside out. Cesium Eliminator. RadiationDefender.com Hi, this is Pete Santilli, host of the Pete Santilli Show right here on GMN. GMN publishes a weekly newsletter called the GMN Rant. You can subscribe to by visiting GorillaMediaNetwork.com forward slash rant. The GMN Rant is filled with highlights and analysis of the week's major news, as well as our inside perspective that you're not going to find anywhere in alternative media. As one of our valued subscribers, you not only get a copy of the GMN Rant delivered to your email every Monday morning, your $5 monthly subscription gets you access to our private group team chat, access to our private Facebook group, exclusive discounts on products offered in our GMN store, insider access to sponsor giveaways and drawings, access to our monthly GMN team conference calls, and a 50% discount on GMN University tutorials that we're producing right now. So sign up by going to GorillaMediaNetwork.com forward slash rant. Your monthly support gets you great benefits, but it goes a long way in keeping us independent and listener supported. Thanks to medical breakthroughs in science and surgery, there are many ways to stop the aging process we see on the surface. And now because of the award-winning work of Dr. Joe McCord, there is a way to turn back time deep inside the cells that cause us to start aging in the first place. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. Bad for the body, leading to disease, malfunction, and importantly, leading to what we call aging, the slow progression of oxidative stress. As our cells burn the food we eat, they also release toxic chemicals called free radicals, a revolutionary 
product called ProTandem activates enzymes which not only neutralize but eliminate free radicals and slow genes associated with aging and bring you to a more youthful state of health. ProTandem, the fountain of youth in a tiny yellow pill. Available at GMNAntiAging.com. That's GMNAntiAging.com. To learn more about the only product clinically proven to reduce oxidative stress by 40% within just 30 days, satisfaction guarantee, go to GMNAntiAging.com. And now, broadcasting live from deep inside the bunker at Pima Region 9, is your host, Pete Zantelli, telling you the truth, whether you like it or not. Okay, I'm back with Michael Volan. Hey, Michael, we haven't done this before. It's very, very important. We're going to provide all the links, and we'll continue to support your efforts to get the truth out, of course. Uh, do you mind if I um, take a couple calls? You want to take some calls before you go? Oh, absolutely. Fine. Okay. Go right ahead. All right, we have a, a, a regular listener and supporter of GMN, of course. Uh, Amos is on the line. Amos, uh, what's your comment for Michael Volan? Hey, can you hear me all right? Yeah, can hear you perfect. Go ahead, uh, okay, Amos. Great. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I just, it's just, it's interesting that you were talking earlier about uh, that, that shooter and what they were trying to do with, uh, you know, it, making us think differently with the new, you know, just all the stuff they're putting out there. And it's just amazing to me that they've been able to get away with this thing with, uh, with this birth certificate for so long. I mean, it's just all the evidence is out there, but, yeah. but nobody can hear it. Nobody can hear it. You know, I mean, that's, that's the thing. Most people don't even think about it or, you know, know about it. I'm yeah. going to I'm going to phrase the question for you to Michael. Michael, this is Please. a com this is a communist, uh Michael Volan Volan that's in office right now. He's a commie. He's a Saul Alinskyite. He has hijacked our government. He's doing whatever he wants recklessly and lawlessly, is he not? Absolutely. And it's it's not only that and I'm going to answer the question from Ennis. Thank you. Yes. Our whole entire government is corrupt. I went if you go to the website, I went through the process of taking pictures at the right moment, giving presentations to congressmen. I've met with a lot of congressmen face-to-face. -face. You know what they told me? They know, but they can't do anything. They won't do anything. What do you do when you go to the police station to report a, a corrupt police officer, and, the, and that police station is corrupt? You can't do anything. That's the problem. That's why we get the kids out to everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a sheriff, if you're a nun, a school teacher, a school bus driver. Everybody needs to have this information so we can get everybody rallied together. If there's enough of us complaining about it, when that dam breaks and they start running out the door, we'll have the information. And we're going to hold people accountable for not taking action on this. The problem is the corruption runs wide. John Bain, if John Bain has a kid, he's not going to do anything. Pelosi has a kid. You think she's going to do anything? Uh, half the Senate has a kid. They're not going to do anything. However, I do have several congressmen that are waiting, ready to move. We're just waiting for that next news conference to come out from the sheriff's department. Yeah, and I didn't mean to water think, down it water down Amos's comments. But go go ahead, uh, Amos. Go, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just I was just I just well, I want to make sure I heard you right. You, did you say they have a kid? Kit. It, kit. Uh, oh, a, oh, they have the kit. Okay, I thought you were like saying they were threatened yeah. because they had somebody was threatening them because they have kids or something like that. Okay. No, they they have a sheriff's kit. Uh, but, uh, you know, back to Amos's point, uh, uh, they, they, use, <clears throat> they use so many different tactics uh, to get uh, the majority of the American public, you know, on their side. Like even making fun of those individuals like Donald Trump, who we now know Donald Trump was right all along, that there were questions about the birth certificate. Um, uh, and then Obama posted a fraudulent one. And then they just made fun of Donald Trump and every other uh, birther. Uh, just laughing well, at that. Well, that's one of the reasons people, why the birth certificate came out on the White House website. It would never have been out on the White House website had not Mr. Trump, who's a very influential man, stepped to the microphone and said, I have a problem with the birth certificate. He was urged to do that by the surprise Tea Party Arizona. They mm -hmm. had a meeting with him. He came out, and Jerome Corsi was going to have a book out the next week also. So the Obama uh, campaign, excuse me, the Obama administration, they panicked. They said, oh, if Trump keeps going on with this, we're going to be in trouble and we're going to, you know, be exposed. 
So after that birth certificate came out, they must have made a deal with Trump. Now, Trump did offer $50 million to give that to get that hard copy from the vault in Hawaii and have Obama show it, and then he would be able to give that to his charity of choice. $50 million, that's a lot of money. I would give that to my charity of choice in a heartbeat. I'll yeah. show you my birth certificate for $5. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Hey, let's go to another call, and then uh, I know you got to be on your way here. Let's go to... Uh... Let's go to, uh, we got a first time caller in the 716 area code. What's your comment? Hello. Hi, uh, first time caller. What's your first name? You're on with Michael Volan from where's Obama's birth certificate.com. Um, my name, sorry, my name's Tori. I'm uh, from a small town south of Buffalo. And I've been hearing about the sheriff going to D.C. with an arrest warrant. Is this true or anybody know anything about this? Michael, are you connected to that group that intends to go out there on December 10th? There's also Operation American Freedom that wants to align with those constitutional sheriffs on the 10th. Are you uh, affiliated with that group? I just had Operation American Freedom on my two-hour blog talk radio, and you were on for two hours too, Pete, and I thank you. Mm -hmm. I am in contact with that uh, sheriff's group that's going there, and the reason is I'm going to arm them with kits. I want everybody there to have a kit in their hand. Outstanding. I want everybody from OAF to have a kit in their hand. That's outstanding. I mean, that's what we need to do. Now, you know, <clears throat> I'm not going to uh, also uh, minimize my offer. It still stands, as I said in the last time you and I got together, okay? Uh, because I believe peacefully we can go there uh, with the people. If we, the people, stand up, we get enough people, we surround the White House with bodies shoulder to shoulder, okay? Now, I offered uh, to go over the, the front fence of the White House, and I've also pre-qualified everything to make sure that everybody knows. I, I would contact the Secret Service, let them know what we intend to do. I was even going to ask them how many people we need to have at the White House to make that uh, a, a potential escort to go get uh, Barack Obama arrested. There's enough evidence right now, sir, uh, to affect an arrest against Barack Obama, just with all the crimes he's been committing. Is there not enough evidence, Michael? Oh, by far there's enough evidence. And let's go by his track record, Pete. I mean, we have the evidence, but look at his track record, too. Everything to destroy this country. Yes. He says one thing another day in front of one group of people, and the next day he says total, something totally different. Yeah. And then he says, I didn't say that yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. This uh, And Tory. And and uh, and and Mike, uh, this amnesty thing, uh, this amnesty thing is huge. It's a big thing for him to even be uh, asking. He's essentially by mentioning amnesty for five million people, he's asking more Im immigrants to flood the border. This guy is literally destroying our country as we speak right now about him. He needs to be arrested, Michael. Absolutely, and that's the urgency with the kid, Pete. I can talk to you about Benghazi, Fast and Furious, IRS gate. Who knows what gate happened this morning? But my focus is on getting him out because we have the evidence in our hand. We have the smoking gun, Pete. Okay, so, uh, Tori, uh, it yeah. sounds like everyone, uh, all the planets are, are coming together perfectly aligned here for this thing, led by the sheriffs, constitutionally and lawfully for us to go to Washington, D.C., very nice. How do how would I get a kit to my local sheriff's? You're, you're going to go to Mike. Mike, go ahead. You can answer that. Go, go ahead. Yeah. I'll mail you a kit. It's got the sheriff's logo on it. You go to where's Obama's birth certificate dot com. You click mm -hmm. on the contact me form or I have my cell phone number right in the middle of the website. Five, seven, zero, three, nine, four, two, five, seven, zero. If you're computer savvy, you can actually download the kit with an ISO file, and there's even a video uh, helper if you have trouble with it. I'll mail you as many kits fill in an envelope. It's happening. I've worked all of these years. Finally, the sheriff. Have you ever heard of a sheriff going to D.C. to arrest the president? That's got to send some kind of signal that the sheriffs know and they want to take action. The sheriff is probably our last line of defense besides me and Pete going over the White House fence together. Yeah, exactly. I, it's a, it, it, actually, you know. Okay, I'm back with Michael Volan. Hey, Michael, we haven't done this before. It's very, very important. We're going to provide all the links and we'll continue to support your efforts to get the truth out, of course. Uh, do you mind if I um, take a couple calls? You want to take some calls before you go? Oh, absolutely. I'll okay. Go right ahead. All right. We have a, a, a regular listener and supporter of GMN, of course. Uh, Amos is on the line. Amos, uh, what's your comment for Michael Volan? Hey, can you hear me all right? Yeah, can hear you perfect. Go ahead, uh, okay, Amos. Great. 
Yeah, no, uh, I, you know, I just it's just it's interesting that you were talking earlier about uh, that that shooter and what they were trying to do with, uh, you know, it, making us think differently with the new, you know, just all the stuff they're putting out there. And it's just amazing to me that they've been able to get away with this thing with uh, with this birth certificate for so long. I mean, it's just all the evidence is out there, but yeah. but nobody can hear it. Nobody can hear it. You know, I mean, that's that's the thing. Most people don't even think about it or. You know, know about it. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna phrase the question for you to Michael. Michael, this is Please. a com- this is a communist, uh, Michael Volan Volan that's in office right now. He's a commie. He's a Saul Alinskyite. He has hijacked our government. He's doing whatever he wants recklessly and lawlessly. Is he not? Absolutely. And it's it's not only that. And I'm gonna answer the question from Ennis. Thank you. Yes. Our whole entire government is corrupt. I went. If you go to the website, I went through the process of taking pictures at the right moment, giving presentations to congressmen. I've met with a lot of congressmen face-to-face. You know what they told me? They know, but they can't do anything. They won't do anything. What do you do when you go to the police station to report a a corrupt police officer, and and that police station is corrupt? You can't do anything. That's the problem. That's why we get the kids out to everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a sheriff, if you're a nun, a school teacher, a school bus driver. Everybody needs to have this information so we can get everybody rallied together. If there's enough of us complaining about it, when that dam breaks and they start running out the door, we'll have the information. And we're going to hold people accountable for not taking action on this. The problem is the corruption runs wide. John Boehner, John Boehner has a kid. He's not going to do anything. Pelosi has a kid. You think she's going to do anything? Uh, half the Senate has a kid. They're not going to do anything. However, I do have several congressmen that are waiting, ready to move. We're just waiting for that next news conference to come out from the sheriff's department. Yeah, and I didn't mean to water think- down it water down Amos's comments. But go go ahead, uh, Amos. Go, go ahead. Yeah. No, I was just I was just I just well, I want to make sure I heard you right. You did you say they have a kid? Kit. It, uh, oh, a, oh, they had the kit. Okay, I thought you were like saying they were threatened yeah. because they had somebody was threatening them because they have kids or something like that. Okay. No, they sh- they have a sheriff's kit. Uh, but uh, you know, back to Amos's point, uh, uh, they they use <clears throat> they use so many different tactics uh, to get uh, the majority of the American public, you know, on their side. Like even making fun of those individuals, like Donald Trump, who we now know Donald Trump was right all along that there were questions about the birth certificate, um, uh, and then Obama posted a fraudulent one, and then they just made fun of Donald Trump and every other uh, birther. Uh, just laughing well, at that's them. that's one of the reasons people, why the birth certificate came out on the White House website. It would never have been out on the White House website had not Mr. Trump, who's a very influential man, stepped to the microphone and said, I have a problem with the birth certificate. He was urged to do that by the surprise Tea Party Arizona. Mm-hmm. They had a meeting with him. He came out, and Jerome Corsi was going to have a book out the next week also. So the Obama uh, campaign, excuse me, the Obama administration, they panicked. They said, oh, if Trump keeps going on with this, we're going to be in trouble and we're going to, you know, be exposed. So after that birth certificate came out, they must have made a deal with Trump. Now, Trump did offer $50 million to give that, to get that hard copy from the vault in Hawaii and have Obama show it. And then he would be able to give that to his charity of choice. $50 million, that's a lot of money. I would give that to my charity of choice in a heartbeat. I'll yeah. show you my birth certificate for $5. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Hey, let's go to another call, and then uh, I know you got to be on your way here. Let's go to, uh, let's go to, uh, we got a first time caller in the 716 area code. What's your comment? Hello. Hi, uh, first time caller. What's your first name? You're on with Michael Volan from where's Obama's birth certificate.com. Um, name, sorry, my name's Tori. I'm uh, from a small town south of Buffalo, and I've been hearing about the sheriff going to D.C. with an arrest warrant. Is this true, or anybody know anything about this? Michael, are you connected to that group that intends to go out there on December 10th? There's also Operation American Freedom that wants to align with those constitutional sheriffs on the 10th. Are you uh, affiliated with that group? I just had Operation American Freedom on my two-hour blog talk radio, and you were on for two hours too, Pete, and I thank you. Mm-hmm. I am in contact with that uh, sheriff's group that's going there, and the reason is I'm going to arm them with kits. I want everybody there to have a kit in their hand. Outstanding. I want everybody from OAF to have a kit in their hand. That's outstanding. I mean, that's what we need to do. Now, you know, <clears throat> I'm not going to 
uh, also uh, minimize my offer. It still stands, as I said in the last time you and I got together, okay? Uh, because I believe peacefully we can go there uh, with the people. If we the people stand up, we get enough people, we surround the White House with bodies shoulder to shoulder, okay? Now, I offered uh, to go over the, the front fence of the White House, and I've also pre-qualified everything to make sure that everybody knows. I, I would contact the Secret Service, let them know what we intend to do. I was even going to ask them how many people we need to have at the White House to make that uh, a, a potential escort to go get uh, Barack Obama arrested, there's enough evidence yeah. right now, sir, uh, to affect an arrest against Barack Obama, just with all the crimes he's been committing. Is there not enough evidence, Michael? Oh, by far there's enough evidence. And let's go by his track record, Pete. I mean, we have the evidence, but look at his track record, too. Everything to destroy this country. Yes. He says one thing another day in front of one group of people, and the next day he says total, something totally different. Yeah. And then he says, I didn't say that yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. This uh, And Tory. And and, uh, and and Mike, uh, this amnesty thing, uh, this amnesty thing is huge. It's a big thing for him to even be uh, asking. He's essentially by mentioning amnesty for five million people. He's asking more Im immigrants to flood the border. This guy is literally destroying our country as we speak right now about him. He needs to be arrested, Michael. Absolutely, and that's the urgency with the kid, Pete. I can talk to you about Benghazi, Fast and Furious, IRS gate. Who knows what gate happened this morning? But my focus is on getting him out because we have the evidence in our hand. We have the smoking gun, Pete. Okay, so, uh, Tori, uh, it yeah. sounds like everyone, uh, all the planets are, are coming together, perfectly aligned here for this thing, led by the sheriffs, constitutionally and lawfully for us to go to Washington, D.C., very nice. How do how would I get a kit to my local sheriff? You're, you're going to go to Mike. Mike, go ahead. You can answer that. Go, go ahead. Yeah, I'll mail you a kit. It's got the sheriff's logo on it. You go to Where's Obama's Birth Certificate dot com. You click mm -hmm. on the contact me form, or I have my cell phone number right in the middle of the website five seven zero three nine four two five seven zero. If you're computer savvy, you can actually download the kit with an ISO file, and there's even a video uh, helper if you have trouble with it. I'll mail you as many kits fill in an envelope. It's happening. I've worked all of these years. Finally, the sheriff. Have you ever heard of a sheriff going to D.C. to arrest the president? That's got to send some kind of signal that the sheriffs know and they want to take action. The sheriff is probably our last line of defense besides me and Pete going over the White House fence together. Yeah, exactly. I, it's a, it, it, actually, you know what? That would be the last line of defense uh, for us to do if we, the people, rise up. But you know what? It, it is a beautiful day when you hear about a group of uh, 200 sheriffs wanting to go to D.C. to take care of business, isn't it? We're being lied to, Pete. We're being lied to. Mm -hmm. We're being told that, oh, everything's okay. Everybody's okay. Don't worry about it. Most of the country's worried about it, but it's being covered up by the mainstream media. That's right. That's right. So it's up to us, we the people, uh, with constitutional sheriffs and those law enforcement officials working for the federal government at the Secret Service, as well as the active duty Marines that are... Uh, that are that are protecting this guy that isn't even eligible to be president of the United States. It's time to arrest the bastard. You know, I think so. You know, yep, Tori, thank you very much for calling in. Okay, Mike. You know what's going to happen, Pete? Yeah. I don't have any superpowers. I'm an ordinary truck driver. You don't have any superpowers. It's the people. It's the ordinary people that can see the tr the truth and what's evil in front of us. That's who's going to take charge. I can't wait for that to happen. When that day is like the people actually won, get the government out, get out the door, let's get some fresh people in there. It may even come down to the military. The military's thinking about stepping in if anything else happens. Are you hearing rumors of that? I'm in contact with so many military people that have kits that knew about it, but they didn't know the scope of the information and the evidence that was behind it. And those wow. kits are now being passed on to top military people. Okay, so we want to put a call out. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, b b picture it this way. Talk about a, a, uh, an update of all updates. Right now we have Michael Volan since 2008 providing this information, getting it. You went to Congress. You handed these kicks to members of Congress. Uh, you've given it to sheriffs all over the country. Uh, we need our listening audience right now. Step it up into high gear. If you want to do something, okay, you need to do this. Get that 
uh, website, where's Obama's birth certificate.com. Uh, get that on your desktop, download a kit, take it to your local sheriff and tell them about what's coming up on December 10th. It looks like we have the potential here uh, for something, I say spontaneous. We've got a lot of these different groups that are concerned about our country. And we have an American public that's very, very desperate for, for people to rise up. Something could happen here potentially, huh? Yes. Pete, my tow truck hasn't shown up. Do I have two more minutes? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, continue on. We got exactly two more minutes. Until you hear the music, we're done. I'm going to show you how stupid, idiotic, communist Congress is. We gave a kit to Paul Ryan. You remember Paul Ryan? He ran for the VP or, uh, yes. with, um, with Mitt Romney. Yes, I do. We gave him a briefing. We gave him another kit. We gave him another kit. We get a letter back from Paul Ryan saying... I looked into this and I saw the birth certificate on the White House website. That's good enough for me. You idiot. That's why we're here, because it's forged and fake. Is that what he said? Wow. Michael Volan, listen, uh, your your GMN tow truck has arrived. <laughs> um, listen, <laughs> take care of business. Thank you very much for coming on with the update. My offer still stands. If we get enough people to surround the White House, you know, I don't even think I need to go over the front fence. I think the Secret Service and the Marine Corps will let me in through the front gate. Give us an escort, get some sheriffs with badges, wait. some constitutional sheriffs. Let's go in there. Let's arrest them. Let's let's put the handcuffs on Barack Obama and make this country a better place, sir. Semper Fi, brother. Where's, o where's Obama's birth certificate.com? Go there, download a kit, get it to your sheriff. Tell them what's going on on December 10th. Operation American Freedom as well. Let's get out to D.C. Let's take care of business. We'll be right back. Radiationdefender.com your source.